yes, we are back like we never left. And we are back with some more of entrepreneurship because it's Tuesday. I go by the name of Barry Moses or it's Barry Moon, every social media platform. And it's always a pleasure. Yes, so please remember, if you'd like to get some more insight on entrepreneurship and how people are managing to do it in this country, uh, be sure to tune in to YN the morning from 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. every single Tuesday. But from Monday uh, to all the way till Friday, we have YN the morning with different themes. And uh, yes, I'm pretty sure you'll find something that interests you or uh, provokes something uh, your interest uh, right about now I have a guest in studio with me the last guest of the day uh, she has a background in IT but she found a way into the accounting world and she's building a career in the music and the acting world as well strength of a woman Kamili, mm -hmm. karibu sana. Asante sana. All right, your camera is number four. Okay. Uh, her, you can introduce yourself. Uh, Charity, if I missed anything. Okay. Mm -hmm. My name is Charity Washera. Mm -hmm. I'm happy to be here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, Charity Washera, you're all the way from Embo County. Yeah, yeah I come from Embo County, the mm -hmm. land of opportunities. The land of opportunities. Yeah. Why do you say so? <laughs> uh -huh. It's the land with everything that uh -huh. you'd want. Yeah. Uh -huh. So we call it the land of opportunity. From food to business. From food to business with good, beautiful ladies like I am. Oh, <laughs> okay. okay. I everything see. good. I see <laughs> <I do. laughs> bless you. Bless you, Madam Charity. Yeah, yeah. So, Charity, you have a background in information technology. You studied information technology. Yeah, I did that diploma in IT, mm -hmm. that is at Achievers College, that is back then in 2003, mm -hmm. 2013. Yeah. All right. So 2013, you did your diploma in IT. Yeah. All right. And then you found your way into the accounting world. Yeah. yeah. You know, now when you need a job, mm -hmm. you can do anything. Mm -hmm. And I am one of those people who believe that anything is possible in this world as long as you're determined. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anything is possible as long as you're determined. You are determined Before yeah. you got to this point of uh, getting to college and studying IT yeah. and uh, moving slightly from IT, because uh, I think accounting nowadays is is based on soft software. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of accounting is done on software. Yeah, on software. So IT and accounting correlate. And they are correlating so much. All right. Before all this, mm -hmm. who's charity? Charity was born in the 90s. Mm -hmm. I'll not say which 90s, uh -huh. but I was born uh -huh. in the 90s. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, my birth certificate is written I was born at an Embu Level 5 hospital mm -hmm. by Mary and John. Those mm -hmm. are my parents then. And uh, when I was growing up, my dad passed on when I was a young girl. Mm -hmm. So I, I never came to have an experience of a father. Mm -hmm. But people would tell me, your dad was good. He was an Ascari. That's what they would tell me. Mm -hmm. So I went to school. Mom was struggling with that. Mm -hmm. She would work hard. But then mom would work as a house help even here in Nairobi mm -hmm. so that she could see us grow. Uh -huh. But uh, and see you through school as yeah, well. Yeah, see us through school mm -hmm. and what have you. So I was a hand working girl. Mm -hmm. Actually, I loved English. Still a working girl? Yes. Uh -huh. When I was in class two, uh -huh. I would lead, there was this subject called reading. Uh -huh. The teacher would call me being the last one because I would read everything correct. Uh -huh. And when I got to class four, I was like, you know, I come from shags. Uh -huh. That is, people do not want to know Kiswahili, English, uh -huh. and what have you. But I was so passionate about English and Kiswahili. So I remember the first time I, I was saying I want to be a journalist. Uh -huh. A journalist. Uh -huh. But OK. That dream is still alive today, uh -huh. to date. But um, I'm hoping soon it will come to be. Uh -huh. So as I continued with school, when I was in class seven, my mom passed on. Uh -huh. It was the hardest time, mm -hmm. you know? I was like, why God so me? So you're, you're in class seven or at class seven level. Yeah. Your mom uh, passes on. Passes on. Yeah. Your dad had already passed on before. Yeah. So you're left with your, your siblings. Yeah, we uh -huh. were two of us uh -huh. with my bro. Uh -huh. Life was tough, you know. I remember. What, is, what did you do next after burying your mom? It was hard. We were uh -huh. left to, to our shosh, uh -huh. and uh, she's a bit old, uh -huh. you know. T t she don't was, take, was taking care of us, uh -huh. but life was hard. Uh -huh. It was actually that time I gave up. I was like, now there's no need of working hard because now. Where will I go? My mother is not there. My father is not there. There mm. was stigma. Mm. You know, friends like they don't want to be closer to you. Mm -hmm. You know, such things. Mm -hmm. It was hard. They s they look at you uh, like uh, some form of uh, baggage or burden. Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. yeah. They are like, oh, we don't. But then I asked another friend of mine the other day, why did our friendship just end? Mm -hmm. And he told me, do you know, I was told my by some people. 
to stop your friendship because your mother and died of this disease and what have you. So mm -hmm. stigma was real. Mm -hmm. I was alone. No people to learn to. I was like... Mm -hmm. At that time, did you know what happened to your mom? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. When he was dying, I didn't know. Uh -huh. But later on, uh -huh. it's when I realized what had happened to my mom. Uh -huh. Because uh, that time she was sick, I would stay with her in hospital because uh -huh. she was the only girl in the family. The others were brothers. Uh -huh. So the doctor says she needs someone to be with at the hospital. So uh -huh. I'm the one to go stay with her. So she was my best friend. So mm -hmm. when she passed on, I was like... There was a lot going on in your yeah, life. How did you manage to uh, carry on with school and uh, to, to the level of going to college and studying IT? Okay, when I finished class 8, mm -hmm. actually te teachers knew I was a hard-working girl mm -hmm. and they knew what I was going through. Though I didn't perform so well, mm -hmm. but you know a bright girl will always be noticed by teachers. Mm -hmm. So they supported me to get to high school. Mm -hmm. So they bought me some shopping. Uh -huh. I actually, the other day I was remembering how we went to another children's home to, I was given some shoes. Mm -hmm. Teachers contributing my shopping to high school, my shoes. That's how you got to form one level. Yeah. Teachers from your primary school. Yeah. Yeah, right. my church did a small <coughs> rambe, so we had some fees. I uh -huh. think it was 7,000 then, uh -huh. the money list from the rambe. Uh -huh. And then, then I was like, the fee was like 20,000. So uh -huh. that means it was not enough. Uh -huh. So the deputy teacher in my primary school go to a teacher with his friend, uh -huh. tells him, I want you to admit this girl. Uh -huh. So, and then he goes to bursary offices in uh -huh. Embu. He's like, he wrote a letter. I reported for one with 7,000 uh -huh. shopping from teachers uh -huh. and then I read from the bus side that my fees would be paid later. That's how I managed to go. So you felt the, 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 the effect of people giving back. Yeah. You've been a beneficiary, yeah. a direct beneficiary. Yeah. All right, nice one. So uh, I'd like to know, uh, moving forward to college, how did you manage to finish your college education? Okay, high school is supported by teachers. Uh -huh. They supported me and what of you. Actually, I know the offices of for bursaries, mm -hmm. and then there are these well wishes groups. Uh -huh. They've helped us so much. Mm -hmm. They would give us maybe food. They'd give us clothes, mm -hmm. and uh, actually, I've managed to have a new clothes, uh -huh. which is not given by somebody else when I'm. Just when big. you started working, <laughs> yes. all right, you've and always <laughs> been supported. Yes, and which then I appreciate so much. Yeah, I appreciate mm -hmm. so much. And then I've learned to work hard in my own ways, no mm -hmm. matter what, you uh -huh. know. So I went to college. I was the, the college teacher was coming back to our high school to uh -huh. preach to us. So he advised me to do this. I had gone actually to do the packages, but uh -huh. he advised, can you do this? Uh -huh. We'll support you. And then friends were there supporting me. I was uh -huh. able to do that diploma. Uh -huh. Yeah. Now you're here, you're employed mm -hmm. as an accountant mm -hmm. uh, with training in IT, mm -hmm. uh, you're certified, yeah. but you still uh, have a passion in your music and the acting. Yeah. When did this start? Okay, it started a long time ago because when I was in primary school, I would do singing, mm -hmm. I would sing, I do poetry, such things. So the passion started when I was young. Mm -hmm. Now it's when it's coming to be. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, the passion started when you were young. Mm -hmm. Now you have music recorded. Uh, yeah. You are featured in some plays and, and films as well. Yeah. So far. Mm -hmm. All right, so uh, as, uh, as somebody who has benefited from from people just giving back to the community. Yeah. Is that where you found yourself also plugging in back to give back to some kids who are in need or some people who are in need? Not necessarily in terms of money, mm. but even time. Yeah, what I have decided is that because I'll, I know there's a place that I'm going, and what I would want to do is that I to empower young girls and boys. Mm -hmm. That is to encourage them. And then the greatest thing you can do to a person who is stressed or going through a hard time mm -hmm. is by encouraging this person. Mm -hmm. So what I do is that I'll offer people a shoulder to cry on. Mm -hmm a place they can go when they have issues. Mm -hmm. I can listen to Because talking to, to somebody who has gone through it is also very... Yeah. Very uh, and then later, I'll keep the secret. Uh -huh. You know, this is something which is hard to... That's why so many orphaned girls uh -huh. are married early. Uh -huh. Why? Because they don't have anyone to trust. Maybe uh -huh. they think this person coming and telling me that... Uh, he, he, loves can, me, he loves me, he'll marry he cares me. Uh, me. So and maybe you've never experienced that form such of love. Such a thing uh -huh. you've never experienced. So you just just go, mm -hmm. you know, without even thinking something else. Mm -hmm. So um, I'll be here to offer 
such which things. most of time if not all is always a mistake yeah which mm -hmm. is always a mistake because i've always been that mistake so mm -hmm. i'm like i want to the, the generation which is com coming after me mm -hmm. to be better mm -hmm. yeah the generation should be better yeah should be uh, better they should not go through the same things i've gone through they should uh -huh. not make the mistake that i've made uh -huh. they should yeah. not make the mistakes that you've made yeah talking about the mistakes that you've made are mm -hmm. these some of the things you address in your music mm. yeah mm. It's talking about the mistakes that you've made and the things you've been through mm. uh, are these the things that you address in your music okay i've uh, i've done gospel in uh -huh. uh, their six songs. Uh -huh. So most of the songs are appreciating God. Uh -huh. There's one song I've done called Murata. Murata means a friend. Uh -huh. This is time you're all alone and then you don't have a friend. And uh -huh. then I sang this song, uh, the best friend who can you can ever have is uh -huh. Jesus. Uh -huh. Yeah. And then I have appreciated God because I wouldn't be on my arm if it uh -huh. wasn't God. All right, so you are a living testimony. Yeah, I'm a living testimony. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Is God. We'll be playing her song in a few. She goes by the name Charity. Mm. Uh, she is an accountant but still has a passion in the arts. She's a singer and she's an actor as well, all the way from Embo County. So if you're watching us from Embo County, keep your views, your comments, and your questions coming and direct them to Charity herself. Uh, don't forget the hashtag Why in the Morning. Don't forget the hashtag Entrepreneurship Tuesday. And whatever, whichever county you're watching us from, yeah, send us a shout out as well. And don't forget to tell us where you're watching us from. So, Miss Charity, yeah. as we come to the end of this, maybe you can start with your social media handles yeah. uh, so people can check you out yeah. as we wrap this up okay mm -hmm. uh, my facebook page uh -huh. Cherita Washera. just look them straight into the eyes okay on uh -huh. my facebook page it's Cherita Washera, uh -huh. and on twitter handle it as well at Washera Kiyama all right yeah. at Washera Kiyama yeah all right Washera Kiyama uh, what is the importance of getting into employment even if you have a passion you have a passion in the art yeah. you have a passion in singing you have a passion in acting mm. and you have a passion in media yeah which people are doing by themselves nowadays since we have smartphones and we have the internet yeah right what is the importance of like seeking some employment uh, to finance this passion uh, according to what you've experienced yourself okay like as in the same way uh, you are you're employed as an accountant mm. but you still have this thing that you do on the side and mm. the money that you get from me uh, being a being an accountant mm -hmm. you invest it in your in your craft hey that's what i do mm -hmm. the money i get here mm -hmm. i work at the isaac walton inn mm -hmm. the money i get there is what i am putting back into mm -hmm. music uh -huh. it's what i'm putting back into acting mm -hmm. and maybe to support maybe myself to get into media classes so uh -huh. that i may be able to go to the field in which i'm passionate about mm -hmm. yeah all right so uh finding your uh, a source of income or a source of capital is very important it's sometimes very you need to sacrifice yeah because in, when i didn't have that job i was not doing the, this because mm -hmm. i didn't have people to support me mm -hmm. i was like now i need something to support me to do this other thing mm -hmm. yeah Wonderful. Thank you very much, Charity Oshira. Uh, maybe you'd like to send some shout outs to the people who have helped you come this far. Yeah. Your camera is number four still. <laughs> yeah, I would like to give a shout out to my shows, uh -huh. my friends who have been so supportive, my teachers. Mm -hmm. Actually, I've done a song for my teachers, a dedication song. Uh -huh, uh -huh. It's very sweet. I love everybody who has uh, supported me to be who I am. Mm -hmm. My fans who celebrate me in Embu, they're like, Where are you? Mm -hmm. I appreciate you so, appreciate so them much. so much did you yeah. get to see the story of the teacher who won a uh, million dollars yeah as an award yeah uh, this spoke to you directly <laughs> since you appreciate your teachers so yes much. yes yes uh -huh. and then i think this song will go to him too uh, this song will go to him too. <laughs> yeah all right so you think kenyan <laughs> teachers need to uh, need to be appreciated to be more. appreciated you know uh -huh. i'm one of those people who love teachers uh -huh. they own a place in my heart uh -huh. and that's why i've done that song for them in right. mwalimu wangu mwalimu wangu this uh -huh. is a song uh, from charity to her teachers because teachers really played a huge role yeah. in her life after she lost both her parents mm -hmm. and uh, shout out to the teacher who won the global award as well representing kenyan flying kenya's flag mm -hmm. uh, the highest mm -hmm. so th we have come to the end of this we have come to the end of the interview we have come to the end of the interviews as well we had charity who's an accountant but with background in it but has a passion in music and acting as well let's listen to one of her songs i hope it's that one that she has dedicated to the teachers mm -hmm. and then we'll be back with some more of why in the morning as we wrap it up uh, so don't go nowhere don't touch that out <laughs>